Hey guys, welcome back to the Get a Clue Marketing Show. We got another exciting episode for you today, and it's going to be about content distribution. We're going to be talking about, you know, what is it and where should you be putting your content? And believe it or not, I had to get a clue because I thought there were only two types of content distribution. Well, apparently there's three and all that's coming up on this episode of the Get a Clue Marketing Show. Stay tuned. Okay, so in our Q&A section, we're talking about what is content distribution, okay? Content distribution is the way that you distribute your content, um, you know, whether it's articles, posts, images, and videos. And again, you know, there are three different types of uh, content distribution. There's owned media. This is uh, personal content. Uh, on your website, your social channels, your SEO. This is all organic and you own uh, the media. Then there's earned media, which is your content being shared, uh, being reviewed, uh, reported, and news uh, worthy. This uh, gets shared throughout the social media. So you will organically uh, post on your, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, these are pieces of your content that get shared and that's called earned media. That's something I didn't know before. All right. And then there's paid media, uh, which is content that you pay for in order to get in front of your target market. Okay. Which is, uh, you know, pay per click, pay per action, pay per view, etc. Now, uh, here's a, um, uh, I love infographs, don't you? This is, uh, I got this over at outbrain.com and uh, it gives you all the different models of uh, earned media, which is sharing, mentions, uh, shares, reposts, reviews, um, paid medias. Um, and sometimes, apparently from this, they look like they overlap. Propelling sharing and engagement uh, with paid promotions, okay? Advertising. Like I, I mentioned, pay-per-click, display ad, retargeting, paid influencers, uh, paid content promotions, social media ads, etc. You've uh, seen them everywhere. And it's definitely kind of annoying uh, when you go to news and article sites uh, like the news media. You know, they have nothing but ads showing up and, and just uh, cramming all that, all that into your experience, which makes it lousy. Okay, owned media, we were talking about, um, you know, website properties, mobile sites, uh, blog sites, etc. And, you know, one of the ways that you can gain the most exposure is through organic SEO and pay-per-click. Okay. And then you have, you know, your SEO brand content on your own uh, websites and your own channels, okay? All right, so coming up in our facts and stats, we're going to be talking about uh, who does what and... Uh, the percentages that you need to look at. All right, in our facts and stats, uh, I go over the different uh, pros and cons uh, for each, okay? So the pros and cons for owned uh, content is th that you own it, okay? Uh, you're able to SEO, you're able to optimize that content so that you can rank on the search engines you can uh, rank with less uh, competitive keywords and it's free to place uh, not only on your website but other social media channels as well now the cons are well you have to create it that's uh, that takes time or you have to pay somebody to create this content uh, it's time consuming to do if you're uh, creating your own content uh, the google algorithm changes so uh, when you're trying to optimize uh, for one algorithm uh, to rank, um, they come along and they change it on you, okay? And then uh, you need a lot of content to get noticed if you're going to be doing it uh, organically, okay? Let's talk about the pros and cons of earned content. First of all, you again, you own it. Uh, the work is already done. Uh, you get more traffic that way. And you use um, a halo effect. What that means is, you know, you're well known in the uh, community for uh, producing great content, very informational uh, content, and it gets shared all the time. But the problem is 
Uh, here's some of the cons is who's sharing it. Okay, you get the uh, good, the bad, the ugly of feedback and comments. Um, you're also, uh, you can't really target it um, of where people are sharing it and it's, it's kind of broad, okay? So, uh, you know, those are, are some of the cons for earned content uh, as well. But again, if somebody's sharing your stuff, that's more of a benefit than it is, uh, um, you know, a deterrent paid content uh, the pros on that is that it's fast you're gonna see results in your campaign right away uh, it's great for lead generation uh, over to your website and get more visitors and if you have a small budget um, you can still uh, get on top of the uh, the search engines and be exactly where you want to be um, for uh, I mean you could be uh, advertising on your competitors uh, blog and uh, that's really cool and you can get all their targeted traffic uh, with a small budget the cons of course is the cost that it's gonna uh, you know take you have to you know learn it's confusing where where you place your ads the technology glitches that come along with it if you don't mark something on when you're setting up your campaigns you could be you know throwing your money away like i did with uh with google ads so you got to be careful with that. You you probably want to start with a smaller. Um, you don't want to get started maybe right away with Google Ads, but try a, a smaller platform and get to know uh, the pay-per-click or pay-per-view type of platforms and then go from there, okay? Um, you know, higher pricing depend on the targeting, okay? So the more targeting you are, uh, I know this on Facebook ads, um, the higher the price is going to be per click going over to your website okay okay so here's a quick graph on uh, marketing spend by channel these are companies that spend anywhere from five dollars to a hundred million dollars okay google adwords obviously are dominating um, the uh, paid search and then you got facebook ads and then the rest are uh, seo content marketing social media and others here's the conversion rates by marketing channel you got uh, google adwords uh, converting at 1.89 percent uh, facebook ads under uh, one and a half percent uh, seo content marketing social media isn't that interesting social media uh, is not very uh, converting uh, according to so those chart. are the facts and stats and coming up in our book market segment I want to show you uh, all the different places that I went to to get some uh, really in-depth information okay so in our book market segment let me show you all the bookmarks so you can uh, take it down but I'll also put it in the show notes as well um, elite uh, copywriter.com i went over there to get some uh, great marketing st statistics neil patel he's a genius uh, go over to his blog you can find all the information that you need to know um you know on before you start uh, paying for content and you can he shows you some tips and tricks on how to uh you know optimize and seo uh, your websites and then finally foundationinc.co you could check them out uh, on your leisure and uh, find out some really great facts about uh, how to market your uh, your website and your products. Okay, so we're going to go over six action steps in our do-it-yourself uh, plan. Number one, you're going to start with organic posts that rank for non-competitive keywords. Okay, these are uh, keywords that are searched anywhere from 2,000 to 10,000 times a month okay and but they're not really competing with other uh, keywords so that's something that you want to do through uh, Google AdWords there's a lot of different uh, keyword tools like uber suggest by Neil uh, Neil Patel if you go over there uh, definitely get hooked up with that uber suggest it's a free uh, tool that you can use number two SEO optimize your blogs your posts and your articles so you definitely want to if you're going after a keyword uh, you want to have <clears throat> your keyword in the title uh, in the header uh, the second header and the beginning of the paragraphs and sprinkled throughout the article Google loves 
articles and posts that are 1500 to 3000 words. Um, they love images and good formatting. Okay, so that's very important when you're doing your blogs, your blog posts. Number three is uh, sharing, you start sharing your post and other uh, posts of other people. Okay, if there's people in your industry um, that they that your people follow, and you want to or you want to grab their audience, you want to share their uh, their posts as well. Okay. Um, these are high to mid level uh, bloggers and influencers that you want to share their posts as well. And once they see that you're sharing, you know, who knows, they'll get, they might start sharing your stuff too, if it's good. Number four, send press releases uh, to news outlets and, about your product or your service. Okay. This is earned media. Once you, of course, you're going to pay. Well, let me scratch that. You know, some news outlets, um, you can send them a press release all day long for free. Uh, other places, um, you can pay a service to, distrib uh, to distribute your uh, press release to all the news and media outlets online. Okay, this is part of the earned media. Okay, number five, start with a small budget for paid distribution. Only after that you know your market, you know the platform, you see the results and the conversions, then uh, you can start scaling. But you always want to be testing, okay? You want to know your market channels for your audience. You know, you want to, a lot of people say, you know, master one and then move on to the other. Especially if you're doing paid, uh, pay-per-click, you want to focus on, you know, let's say Facebook, you want to start there, get a highly targeted uh, group, and then you might want to move on to YouTube. Uh, and then, you know, master that get to know the campaigns and how to get more views subscribers. And then you can do both at the same time once you start uh, gaining uh, a, a large amount, <laughs> a large amount of um, uh, business. Okay. So that's basically it. You know, I really appreciate your watch and I wanted to do this really quick. I didn't want to uh, belabor the point. Sometimes my shows go, you know, uh, 25 minutes or more. And I'm trying to cut that down because I know your time is at a premium just like mine. But uh, if, if you want to see more marketing um, videos, definitely subscribe to the Get a Clue Marketing Show on my uh, YouTube channel. And also go over to the get a clue marketing show.com. I got some word search uh, puzzles, I've got some polls, uh, quizzes, and uh, things that you can do to help cement uh, each lesson and each uh, show that uh, each topic that we're talking about. Okay, so anyway, this is David Deke. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.